Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you, that you've been having a good day. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how I managed to get uh, Unity 2018 installed anywhere else apart from C Drive. Um, as you can see here under my Unity Hub, um, Unity 2018 is installed in G Drive. Uh, in, this, in my case, G Drive is actually my uh, external hard drive. Now, there's, there's some pretty good reasons why you do not want Unity 2018 to be installed on C Drive. Um, the very common reason is actually space. Um, or in some cases, uh, as shown, shown here in the Unity forum, um, Rob5300 does not want to have uh, all his programs installed in C Drive, um, and, and that applies to me as well. Um, Unity, Unity, Abraham from Unity assured us that, um, that they are, that while it's not while Unity Hub did not have uh, uh, the beta version does not have the option to install in another location, um, and that he he promises that the next iteration will be coming soon. It's already May now, so unless I'm missing something, um, I'm I'm still not uh, seeing that particular feature. Um, one of the very common reasons is hard disk space. Um, C drive is usually um, some a, a sacred. Uh, storage location on your hard drive, on your laptop or your PC, and um, it's pretty natural that um, that's that's a that's a that's a need to have um, Unity twenty eighteen installed in another location. However, um, the good news is that in if I if I move down the forum, uh, M underscore R gave a suggestion of a workaround, and that is to use a sim link. Now, uh, a sim link is something that's uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool, and I'm going to show you how um, I, I did it. I did that. Okay. Now, in order to get Unity 2018 installed in a different location, Unity Hub has to be installed in that same location as well. Uh, but we know that. But but you probably know that when the first time you you tried installing Unity Hub, you were also not prompted on where to install the software. And by default, it just goes straight to C drive, right? So right now, what I'm going to show you is how I managed to um, have Unity Hub installed in a different location. And only thereafter am I able to download and install Unity 2018 in the same uh, drive that Unity Hub is. I'm not going to show you how I'm installing Unity 2018 because that's pretty straightforward and you don't have much of an option to choose anything anyway. But I'm going to show you the step before you come, you get to here, and that is how to move files from C, Unity Hub files from C drive to another location and full Unity Hub that um, is still on C drive. All right, um, and this is how we do it. So the the first thing I just need to do is make sure that I close the Unity Hub uh, software, and I have to make sure that it does not show here as well. So I will have to right click and make sure that I quit Unity Hub. All right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to C drive, and that's the default location where Unity Hub is installed. Um, C drive slash program files, I'll be able to see the Unity Hub folder here. If I were to double click on it, I'll be able to see all the files of Unity Hub under this folder. Now, these files are the files that actually uh, get Unity Hub to run, and I need to have these files move to another location and trick. Windows or Unity Hub to think that it's still here on C drive, and this is how I'm going to do it. First, I will just very briefly move these files. I'll right click on it, I'll click on cut, and in my case, I will want to have these files installed in G drive slash Unity. Okay, so since the, the folder is cut, I'll just paste it here. Remember, you do have to make sure that you have administrator privileges to do this. And just give a, some time for the files to be moved. Okay, so just remember it's moved, not copy. You're not gonna, you're not supposed to have a copy of the file back still in C drive. All right, so if I were to go back to C drive slash programs, I will, I should not be able to see the Unity uh, Hub folder here anymore because I've moved them, I've moved the folder to G drive. Duh. All right. So what I what I need to do is I will need to create a um, sim link, as what M underscore R recommended, 
I need to create a symlink under this uh, program files and um, convince Windows that the files are still there. So the, own, the way I know how to do it is to use the command prompt. So what I'll have to click on the Windows icon here and type CMD and I will be able to see the option of command prompt appear. Right, I have to do is uh, to make sure that I run this as an administrator. Okay, and I would just go to C drive slash. Uh, okay, just remember to use uh, quotations, program files. Okay, and here I am. I'm in the same location as what is reflected here on Windows Explorer, uh, file uh, Windows File Explorer. All right, so if I want to list the folders under command prompt, I type dir, um, and this would actually reflect the same as uh, what I see listed on File Explorer. Um, so I need to have a sim link of the Unity Hub uh, in this particular path. In order for me to do that, I type mklink. Uh, if I want to have a look at the sim syntax, I'll type mklink and I'll hit enter, and I'll be able to see the available options. Uh, for the sake of this demo, all I just need to do is uh, use the slash j, which is to create a directory junction. So I type mklink slash capital J, and I remember to use quotes, and I type unity hub, and I close the quote. And this unity hub is the sim link that I want to create. And the final parameter is to state the um, uh, where, where I want to point this uh, same thing too. So remember to use quotes again, and I it's more it's easier for me to look for the to use File Explorer to go to the folder that I want, copy the path, and paste it over here back in Command Prompt. Remember to close your quotes, and once this is typed out, I hit Enter, and you will see that the junction that the junction is created for Unity Hub. I type dir again and I'll be able to see Unity Hub appear here as though it is a directory. But uh, command prompt uh, dir actually shows me that it's not a directory, it's actually a junction and it points to g drive slash unity slash unity hub. Or in your case, it could be something else over here or whatever it might be. If I go to fi File Explorer again, back to c drive slash program files, I'll see Unity Hub appear here as though it's a folder. Um, but there's a giveaway icon here that's, that actually tells me that it's not a folder, but it is in effect a sim link. Uh, if I were to double click on Unity Hub, I will see the fi see files appearing here as though they are, from, they are in C drive itself. But in reality, these files are in G drive. Okay, so now that we've got um, Windows full, we, can, we should be able to run Unity Hub um, via the same original shortcut and the shortcut would think that the files are still in C drive and as a result it will still run and to prove that I'm I've just clicked on the unity hub shortcut and you can see that it's actually powering up as part of the speed because I'm using an old laptop and unity hub would run as though uh, the files are still in its original place Right, so comes to the part of how do I install Unity 2018 into the uh, location under the C drive. Um, click on install. In my case, I've already got 2018 installed, so I'm not going to show you how to install that. But in your case, if this is the fresh, if you've not gotten Unity 2018 installed yet, you should be able to see a list of um, various versions that you can choose from. Right, and um, over here, there should be a button that says download or was it installed? I, I can't remember. And um, all you just have to do is click on that button and there's virtually nothing else you can do but just to watch uh, Unity Hub download and install uh, Unity 2018 for you. So if since Unity Hub in my case is in G Drive, uh, when I download and install Unity 2018, it will automatically be installed in G Drive, right? And this is, this is, this is tremendous stuff because once um, this is done, I can actually run Unity 2018 uh, directly from G Drive and it will not bother my space on C Drive. Alright, so I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope it's not too long-winded. Um, and yeah, certainly I wish you well in...
making fabulous gains.